in the distance we see Amber Air Force Base. Double engine. With double stacking. This line, the trains could be going up to Darwin, Alice Springs, or to Sydney, or to Perth, Western Australia. In the background, we can see a multi-mode freight hand facility. can be up to 1.8 kilometers in length. This point is a passing loop, but past King Road comes a single track. Way and freeway. Adelaide in the distance. This is the map of mass transit in Adelaide in, in about 2011. This is the CBD of Adelaide, the port of Adelaide, and Outer Harbour with its two mass terminals for container vessels. This is the South Road and a super highway has been built here. This is the rail route to Salisbury, which is a mixture of heavy freight and passenger trains. At this point the heavy freight lines go out through past Amber Air Force Base and Penfield. At this point the potential intermodal freight has actually been built in 2015, so now open. And we come then out to roads to two, two wells. This is a point where proposal number three had heavy freight from Melbourne coming from Murray Bridge via a line going up through Cambria and Truro to Roseworthy and then the trains would come here and the heavy trains would then either go on up to Port Pirie and Sydney, Darwin and Western Australia in that direction or turn around and come down here into Adelaide. The northern connector is this section here. It's meant to be a mixture of rail and road solutions. This map shows the latest version of the thinking with the northern corridor development. The red line is the roadworks and this line is the railway, heavy rail proposal. Here is King Road, here is the Embra Air Force Base, this is the Penfield intermodal which is shown in the video and this is the bridge sorry this is the bridge on the Portfield Road which and this is the Gawler bypass so this road's been built the proposal is in red and you have an interchange here interchange there and the railway line would the proposal now is to have the railway line on the outside edge of the road and this point it would then go its own way 
and to Port Adelaide. Penfield Intermodal Freight Centre. Saturday. Freeway in the middle. Reach over the railway line. Main North Road, also known as Port Wakeful Road in Virginia, and the start or end of the Northern Expressway going out to Gawler and Denmark. distance we can see the Dairy Exalt container port at Outer Harbour, Virginia, and this is where the North Expressway is planned to go across the pass is going over. This is the main off road. This is a underpass. So this is the up track going to Gawler. You can see a central section for trains to go through that section of the bridge and the extreme left hand side is the up track motor car line looking towards Gawler. So this is the south road and we have an interchange here and the rail would be brought round and go north that way on the outside of the roadway or it could come round and go to Port Adelaide this way. And then get to Outer Harbour. This is the northern end of the northern connector. This is the Port Wakeful Road. This is the bridge which currently exists and the proposal is that the standard gauge rubber line at this point has a junction so that the line can be brought round and taken underneath the port well. Port Wakeful Road under the existing bridge and another branch from the Pentfield and the bridge which is in the, in the video brought round so can, trains can, can interchange can go, get to Outer Harbour by this method and this structure here is actually the airstrip which currently exists So we have an interchange here 
for the roads and the rail goes around the western side of the road this is Port Wakeful Road and here there's another interchange of the Waterloo interchange and the train is this red line here this is showing some of the alternatives that were planned to deal with the way the road and the rail was going to go there are four different proposals for the rail way the rail was going to be dealt with and this is the various options that were considered in the northern part of it the problem is that the ownership of the heavy freight lines is in the hands of the Commonwealth whilst the roads in the hands of the state and the standard gauge lines run alongside the broad gauge lines of the passenger trains so that if the Commonwealth doesn't fund the shifting of the rail lines at this stage the roadworks may have to go ahead separately from the rail and the rail will come in with its structures late at a later time. 